<clears throat> Welcome to Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. It's now 12.16 a.m. on December 9th, 2023. I want to get started on this here second box of Alan and Ginter X for Old Style Classic Baseball Cards. And, um, you know, let's see what we get out of it. Oh, crap. You knew it was going to happen, people. It's the middle of the night. Wife just went to bed. Um, we watched... Uh, all right, I'll get back to that. Yellow, yeah, come on in. Hey, Scotty, it's you again. Hey, Rob, it's me, Scotty. Hi, I'm back. Hey, uh, did you find them, guys? Hi, Rob, I found them. Lucky for me that I did when I did. Oi, those dang fools. Hey, they were trying to hook up that dilithium to the, that... Well, let's just say it's uh, quite a piece of roadkill, and it ain't the kind you grill. Oh, so what, what's going on? What, how can I help you out here? I, Rob, if I hadn't got there, them guys would have killed themselves. Dolchek and the old Captain Kirk and them would have been in a limousine on the other side of the solar system. And they would have froze to death, I think. I... But them dang fools let that Jar Jar start messing with the engine and, well, let's just say he threw a few wrenches into everything and broke it down. Oi, so lucky for us that that dang fool is so clumsy. Oi. Well, huh. okay, so what's going on? You, you come back to do some old style classic baseball cards? Did you say baseball cards? What are you, daft? No, man. I gotta go get me another new 4.0 high output inline 6 engine from a Jeep. But I heard you had one. Ay, don't be daft. Do you have that vehicle down there so that we can use that engine? Oh man, no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I left that Jeep in, uh, it's back in New Mexico. Did you say New Mexico? Yeah. Ay. Hey, didn't one of the Enterprises land there? I don't know. One of the shuttles landed there. But it wasn't the kind of shuttle you fly around in. Aye. Plus, these darn fools... This this technology you have is not strong enough to have another dilithium. More or less the strength of the alloys you guys use. Aye. I'm going to have to go to the junkyard, I guess, and see what we can put together. Hey, man, don't get the 2000... Or 2001 engine, I hear the head cracks pretty easy. Is that so? Yeah, and that 4.0. Uh, do you want fuel injected or carbureted? I rub. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. That uh, lithium, it's injected, but not the way you do. No, oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, there's a junkyard over there down by my work if you want to go out. Uh, or transport over there or, or whatever but you sure you don't want to do any old style classics baseball cards dag nabbit rob i keep telling you don't be daft i don't have time for that rubbish although i did see that video when we were uh you know had some downtime there i uh, yeah i uh, hope you get another aaron andrews card or, or uh Josephine's Rivers. Hi, that's pretty nice stuff. Uh, sorry, man, she's not in this set. And Josephine's in a total other brand. Ah, dag nabbit, Rob. Ah, shucks. Well, I just figured I'd stop by and see if you had that there Jeep. But uh, if you can't get me any of that stuff, then um, I think I'm going to go. But do you mind if I go to the bathroom before we leave? I've, I've, I, yeah, let's just say it's not, it's not good. It's not good. I, I'm not used to this real food that you guys eat over here. Yeah, down the hall over there, uh, yeah, go past the engine masters and then take a left. And, uh, I think if you go down to the second floor, there's a couple right there. Or the first floor, not the ground floor. It's crazy how they do things here. Hey, Rob. Well, it's good seeing you. 
but uh, uh, I gotta go. I forgot what I wanted. Bye. Okay, well, there you go, guys. Well, got an update. At least some guys are still okay. And otherwise, we'd be having a William Shatner and some other guys coming in as ghosts, perhaps. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. Ah, uh, dag nabbit. I forgot to ask about how old old Dolchek. Maybe he could have got me an autograph. Oh, well. I you know. Hmm. Well, what was I saying, folks? We're going to do some um, new style, old style, classics, baseball cards, and other oddities. And uh, it's now officially Saturday morning. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we just got finished watching... Um, Indiana Jones and the Destiny, the Dial of Destiny, and uh, you know I was against watching that movie because of the whole Kathleen Kennedy thing and how they ruined Star Wars, and so pretty much uh, boycotting all that stuff. And um, so honestly, I'm glad I didn't go see it at the theater, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, typical Indiana Jones. You got to suspend your belief for some of the crazy stuff that goes on like some of the chases uh that was a little much they had maybe too many chases chasing around a mcguffin she's unlikable character but not as unlikable as you'd think i don't know if they edited out some of the crap that people were complaining about um but you know let's just say it wasn't as bad as like the last jedi so uh yeah it, it was okay yeah i'd say it's probably I, I would say it was better than the last one uh that one really sucked um i'm just driving through the jungle like they were on the freeway for like miles chasing each other not hitting any bumps or sticks or anything like that it was just really stupid this one had a little bit of that, but not as bad. Story was a little choppy. They just kind of solved things too quick. Like going underwater to retrieve something that's been down there for 2,000 years and it's all clean. And, and some, you know, it, it had a lot of plot holes. So it wasn't great, but it was, it was, it was entertaining enough. So I'm pleasantly surprised it wasn't as bad as I expected. But hey, I didn't have to give Disney any money. Uh, because it was on Disney Plus and we get that for free because of our uh, internet cell phone service. It's just one of the things they included. So good for me. Don't have to support Disney in any way other than having watched it. So I guess they get that credit. But anywho, um, but yeah, so... If you could check it out for free or at a friend's house or steal somebody's, you know, borrow somebody's password or something like that, check it out. It was pretty good. Yeah. Harrison always does a good job. The kid in the movie was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I was a little pleasantly surprised. But she still needs to go. She's really, really messed up. Lucasfilm in my opinion but hey that's my uh, soapbox uh, so I gotta get off my soapbox and get into the derby and start the race because you can't win the race unless you go down the hill right folks so let's see if this box is goes as downhill as the last one well the last box was pretty brutal especially that second half all we got was a Rushman Adley rookie card and my Andre Dawson PC one the last box the autograph was in this first pack which is always disappointing so I'm gonna set that one off to the side right off the bat but let's start over here I'm gonna set the first two packs aside let's see where we get here folks sit this aside, sorry. <clears throat> what do we? Um, oh, we went to. Uh, 
interesting story why I'm uh, showing you this. So when I carry him out here to visit, I'm really into Greek like mythology and architecture and all that stuff. It's part of the reason I like anthropology and archaeology and all that. Um, but I really, really dig Athena, the goddess. You know, I have some of the um, Greek pots that I ordered from Greece and um, like a ring and a medallion and all this stuff because I really like Athena. And um, so I was really, really into it about 12 years ago. Like, uh, that's when I was really um, doing more studies on the Iliad and the Odyssey and the Aeneid and the Fall of Troy and Xenophon and Abasis and the Homeric hymns and all this kind of stuff back then. I was really studying in, up on that stuff. And so when I came to visit her the first time I looked up if they had any Athena stuff out here. Because, you know, there's a lot more art. and New Mexico has a ton, a ton, a ton of art. But it's mostly Native American and Western art. Cowboys, Indians, Pueblos, scenery. You're not going to get, like, neoclassic, like, uh, Greek art and all that. Very, very little. And it'll usually have, like, a Southwestern twist, which is sometimes really pretty cool. But I knew that, like, San Francisco area, they'd probably have a lot of that. So I looked it up. Anywho, um, they have the statue down there in Civic Plaza, I think, in uh, San Francisco that we went and visited when I first came out here. Big um, Athena statue out there, but it's all overrun with homeless people and all that now. It's right over across from the Bill Graham Auditorium where you can see like Tool and some of these bands back before the Chase Center opened. Uh, right by their um, City Hall, which looks like U.S. Capitol building. It's really beautiful. And she's up on that uh, frieze on the side of the building, too. So we got to go see that. But anyways, when I came here, I looked up that. And there was an Athena Grill down the road here. It's a Greek restaurant. And didn't have time. We never went because I was never that much into eating Greek food. I do like heroes, but I don't eat onions. And I hate onions. And I don't like, like celery inside of, you know like cold celery and food like tuna or something like that and uh yeah so and in new mexico there's not a whole lot of greek food um nevertheless i seen the athena grill was here when i visited like 12 years ago i wanted to go check it out because i just figured now maybe they had some cool art and stuff and maybe give it a try since uh when in rome right and um, <clears throat> we never went. And then after I moved here, first few years, probably couldn't afford it or, you know, didn't want to spend my money eating something that I wasn't too sure I'd like. So I never went. Then I was actually going over by Mojo Break Shop uh, baseball cards. Mojo Breaks, they have a shop right over down the road from where we live now. It's like a mile away. And when I was leaving there, I was driving down one of the side streets to get back to uh, Central Expressway to go back home. And as I was leaving, there it was. And I was like, oh my god, after 12 years, I'd never seen where this place was. And there it is. It's kind of tucked in the back there. And uh, so I drove by a few times, looked. And then today we're like, ah, what are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? Going through all these things we don't want to eat. And I was like, oh, well. Because the Greek place we do like. So now that I've been here, I've eaten at a few places and I know what to order that I like. It's basically the hero with um, without the onions. And I don't like tzatziki. They, they usually have some like garlic aioli kind of mustard sauce at one of these places I really like. But anyways, I was like, hey, let's go try that Athena place. So we went over there. You know, it was pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I think the other place I like a little better, but it's a little further. But I wanted to try it out. Dude gave us some free bacala, so thank you for that. And we both got basically a hero. She got chicken, I got beef. The one I like is that kind of beef-lamb mix. They didn't have the sauce that I like, and I forgot to ask for, like, feta or something on it. 
garlic fries were pretty good, pretty strong though. And the guy gave us free dessert, and that was cool. But the whole restaurant that didn't have one Athena thing, not one image of her on the walls or anything, just kind of standard basic Greek views of like the Mediterranean. They had cool giant Hercules wood. And I mean, it was the size of like an 80 inch TV of, um, I think like Perseus maybe or somebody like that. And then Hercules fighting the lion uh, carved out of wood. And those were cool, but nothing of Athena. So I guess I didn't miss out on anything other than the name being on the building. But the food was pretty good. So that's my story. Maybe we'll talk about that more someday. Just fascinated with that uh, Greek history and all. That's kind of funny because that's one of the plots. I'm not going to give it away, so spoiler, but in uh, the Indiana Jones movie, maybe that's why it kind of just coincidentally um, they ended up in an ancient battle that technically didn't involve Greece, but. There's a Greek involved with it, um, um, Archimedes. I think he's Greek, but it was more during the Roman times, I think. But nevertheless, that was kind of cool. All right, Christian Yelich. And Manoa with his Manoa tattoo. I'm just really going to look for a short print, so Crystal Reed, I'll show you some of the oddball people, so if you want to read about her, it's kind of funny, she kind of looks a little weird in this picture, but I went ahead and looked her up online, uh, look at some of her images on Google, she's actually pretty, so she looks prettier in her pictures than she does in this card, I'm not saying she looks bad, I'm just saying she looks better. All right, we got Duran. That's pretty dark. Deep darkness on that card. That looks good. The offsetting colors there. Rookie card. So we'll keep her up on there. She gets a little time there. Maybe James will like that. He likes the redheads, I think. All right, shoelace. And I saw um, oh, what's his name um. Other guy who really likes Alan and Ginter, and he pulled a triple rip card of um, Julio Rodriguez today, and um, a Yankee relic with pinstripe. Sorry, dude, I'm, I can't quite remember your name right now, but he has a little Derek Jeter Lego dude, and he goes around and he opens the box for Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, dude. Sorry, I don't. Remember your channel name right off the bat, off the top of my head. But yeah, he had a really, really good box. Um, triple rip card, couple relics. Um, and then he actually pulled an autograph of um, Freddie Freeman, so that was pretty cool. And he still can't appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but. I mean, you know the odds, but he still doesn't seem to appreciate he's the one that got that um, music to your ears relic when I first watched his video of his first box. But nevertheless, happy Hanukkah to him. Happy Hanukkah to any other you people out there who celebrate Hanukkah. And, uh, yep, I'm with you. And uh, Merry Christmas coming up to the rest of us, Max Scherzer. And so today I told my boss I had to take off early next Wednesday because I got a doctor's appointment because I have to see her every three months um, to get this prescription. Or, yeah, which I haven't even been able to get for three months. So I'm like, well, why, is the, why do I need to keep seeing you if I can't pick it up? But nevertheless, I'll talk to her. That uh, gets me out of work for a few hours, and I took next Friday off because we're getting to go see my main girl, Stevie Nicks, up, up there, up there, 
San Francisco at the Chase Center. Hate going there, but heh, for Stevie Nicks, do just about anything. There's uh, Stevie Nicks, the the Siren, and then of course I love Debbie Gibson. She is my um, somebody my age, high school crush, but who didn't have a crush on Stevie Nicks? And so we get to go see her in San Francisco, rescheduled date because of COVID. She was supposed to be here like eight, nine months ago. Contreras, one tickets to see her. So next Friday, Stevie Nicks, people. Well, that makes me happy. And my wife, she likes her too. And it's too bad her parents weren't here with when um she was going to be here because I kind of got them into it. And um, as her solo stuff goes, I mean, she's got a lot of really good songs. But my favorite is Nightbird from The Wild Heart. And uh, you can go on YouTube and pull up the Nightbird um, version from, a, it's like, American, not American Bandstand, but one of those shows. It's her and Lori Nix. I think that's her brother's wife. So she just took on his name. And do and they do this little singing where she sings a little bit, and then the other one comes in and sings the same thing after, and then they kind of sing something different, and then they come back together, and it's super cool. But man, do they look high when you look at that video, they look stoned out of their mind. But it is such a good version of that song. So check out Stevie Next Nightbird on YouTube. All right, and our first mini is Manoa. Wow, in the same pack. That's crazy. So we've got the full size Manoa and the mini Manoa all in the same pack. The Manoa, not the menorah, but Manoa. Great Scott. I can't believe I got two of those in the same package. Oh, God. There's my imitation of Scotty who really stopped by here. I can't tell if he was in ghost form or not. I think he died. But sometimes they don't take on the same image of the Star Wars guys because it's not Star Wars. Um, all right. I could use some water right now, actually. So water's rookie card. Take a drink of my soda over here, folks. Bear with me. All right. Bello. All right, here's my girl. The young lady who's the phenomenon right now. And we just got her autograph card. So now I got one of her um, on the Gunter X to go with it. So, 16 year old Anna Lee Waters, professional pickleball player. Set her aside for a minute. All right, next one we got a Jones. To hit Nabbit. Slipped right out of my hands, folks. I still think he looks like Chris Bryant. Mark Teixeira. <clears throat> I haven't seen a lot of them. So, got a Teixeira, and that's a short print, so that's probably why. Um, my dude who just, <laughs> the Derek Jeter Lego dude, I guess he's a PC collector of Tatis. It's just funny how people like different things, and I don't even like them. I would almost rip that card in half. But, hey, it's part of the set. And then Aaron. And he was a uh, answer on Jeopardy tonight. Because they had a baseball category on Jeopardy. And one of the questions was, this player, and they showed a picture of him when he was young. This player alphabetically is the first person alphabetically in the Hall of Fame. So, by name, Aaron is the first. If you put all of the Hall of Famers in order by their last name, he's number one. So, the guy got it right. So, good for him. Alright, let me just do this real quick. All right, uh, the first box, this is all we got. The Wally Backman. 
I mean, a lot of Mets fans out there from the 86 World Series team, but I wouldn't even say superstar player stats don't qualify for that, but he is a um, World Series winner with them, and he's 34 out of 45, but that's all we really got other than just base cards. And so we got Anna Waters, and she's the hot chase card, one of the hot chase cards this year, uh, valuable ones. So I picked her up on an auction and got this card for about half price what other ones are going for, up to half price. So now we get to get her, uh, she has some company with herself, so that's around $200 card there. I paid it more than half, less than that. I, that's the proper way to say that. I don't know. But that there English ain't me and my buddy George. <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Rob? I don't know. You probably shouldn't ask me. Uh, Dag nabbit, Rob. Um, <laughs> I already forgot what I was saying. I couldn't find the word. All right. And then we got the Bryce Harper Mini. Oh, I know what I was looking for. My glasses seem a little foggy to me, folks, so I gotta rub these down real quick, sorry. Thank you, everybody who's been watching my videos, um, even if you don't make it the whole way through them. I appreciate people um, at least giving it a shot watching the first five or six minutes uh, feel free to fast forward through stuff if you don't want to hear me joking around and goofing or giving you like nothing happening on the screen sorry it was a lot worse when I first started um, yeah I was thinking of a trick I, uh, I mean not a trick um, a little um, experiment if you guys think I talk too much, hit the subscribe button. If you think I really talk too much, then you can hit the like button after that. And if you think they're just just fine um, and you like what you see, then hit like and then subscribe or, or if you're happy with it you can go ahead and uh, leave a comment too that that's cool but do whatever you want <laughs> I'm not um you know I don't have ads on my stuff or anything at this point in time who knows maybe someday but um, just kind of showing you guys what I like talking about the cards I like to do so do it of course whatever you like but hey if you would like to subscribe and that would be cool it's nice to see people watch your videos so that's kind of cool and uh, kind of sharing the hobby with you comments are appreciated and all that I did see one guy left a comment yesterday that said <laughs> my one video which I was just goofing around. Maybe it was the other Scotty video. It was like too much drama. I'm <laughs> like, that's drama. It didn't seem like drama to me. It just seemed goofy at best. I mean, it may be stupid, but I don't know if it was drama. But that's cool. That's fine. <laughs> Everyone has an opinion. And uh, that's okay. Even if you want to roast me, that's all right too. Alvarez, this is all in fun, folks. This is all just to have enjoyment and share. Because I've heard some of you guys talking. It's like, what is it, Peter B or who was it? Talk. Oh uh, man, who was it? Or was it Mangini? No, I don't know. Somebody was talking about um how him and the brother would collect cards. And he would get the like the Kellogg's card. And he'd go to the store with his mom, Alvarez rookie, and 
so he could get the card before his brother could get it and dig down into the box and um but point being is he was talking about yeah for years didn't feel like he knew anyone else that had the same interests and hobbies as you and I can uh, relate with that because that's how I feel my brothers you know some they like baseball but they don't like get deep into it and talk about it a lot and uh, two of them are more into football which I like football but I'm not you know, I don't like it like I really do baseball, so I'm not going to sit there and study it and all that. Meyer rookie card, and it's almost like a repeat box to a degree. Just because of the next card coming up. But anyways, it, yeah, in general, that's like my whole life. Like, I have friends who like to go country dancing and do, like, those kind of things. You know, like hang out at the lake and drink beer and just country dance and all that kind of stuff and then I have the other set of friends that they more like to go like hunting and fishing which I'm not in, much into fishing and then they got the ones that like to play softball and that's about it or maybe go to a few sporting events here and there um, then you got the few who may go to a baseball game with you but they're never the same people this guy didn't, or you know, like I like going to rock concerts. Oh, I don't like going there to those anymore. I did it when I was younger. So it's like, okay, the, these ones will only go to a country concert. These ones will only go outdoors if you're like doing something serious, like hunting or something like that, where these guys just want to go and drive around on jet skis and 4x4 four four and just goof around. But they don't like doing any of this other stuff. These ones only like doing this and maybe a little bit of that. But they don't, they don't like to have fun like this. It's just kind of weird. And then these ones, they're not interested in any of that. They only like the sport. And it's usually just one sport. Like, oh, this guy likes to go to the women's basketball games. And this one likes to go to the hockey games. And maybe this one will want to go to the baseball game. But kind of don't cross over. And then, like, all of them don't even like to go to rock concerts. And it's like, I like to do all that. And uh, so it's kind of hit or miss. And now that I don't even live around those people, so it's like I don't got any of that. And I've always collected stuff like baseball cards, and I love baseball. And nobody I know likes it as much as me or, or does this. So I hope that didn't make you yawn. But I totally agree with what you're saying, dude. So that's one of the reasons I like to do these videos because sharing in the hobby that I like and uh, maybe get to know so many people who like similar things. I know we all don't do the same. A lot of you guys are more into vintage 50s, 60s kind of stuff. I'm not opposed to those. I just don't have a big collection of that stuff or not really looking to at this point in time. I'll pick stuff up here and there, but uh, we could talk about that stuff I'm fine with talking about that stuff I'm fine with talking about pre-war I'm fine with talking about more modern but keep in mind this card here well let me uh, grab this one instead because we know he's pretty um, established this card here is somebody else's Mickey Mantle, Willie Mays, McCovey, or Ernie Banks card 60 years from now, 50, 60 years from now. Some guys are going to be out there our age now being like, oh man, I've always wanted the Mike Trouts and the Bryce Harpers back from that era, and it's going to be to them what you, what the Mantle, Mays, and all that stuff is for you guys now, of course. Those guys will have a lot better options, a lot more options to choose from than we do. And the cards that they can get are going to be in a lot better shape because we all take care of them better than people did back then. <clears throat> and, you know, <clears throat> 100, and, 100 and some odd years, this is going to be somebody else's T206 or Allen and Ginter original is to us. So... You guys may not like this stuff. Some of you guys don't care for this stuff or modern or 
these kind they like it on Ginter but someday this is gonna be somebody's uh, big pickup when I'm long gone all right there you go Sammy Sosa fun dude great player to watch got to see him it's funny how some of these kind of have a like a reddish background there I've noticed on certain cards some of these um supposed to be all black but they do have a red tint to some of them but nevertheless fun player he was exciting brought a lot of people back to baseball but definitely disappointed in uh, the cheating and uh, doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame got what he wanted out of it fame and fortune and um, so that's my own guy right there folks I don't think there's room for him in the Hall of Fame, just like the other ones, like him, McGuire and Bonds and the like. All right, come on, let's get our short print people. So Julio Rodriguez, Ozzy Smith. So yeah, we are starting to see repeats already. Just in these two Ginter boxes. I don't even know what to call them. They're not retail and they're not hobby. They're just online exclusive. You know, that's not a short print. Your new Yankee. So Juan Soto. Um, I checked around nine or eight or nine. Nothing had to happen with Otani yet tonight, but I haven't checked since then. So who knows? Otani could be on another team right now, and I don't even know it. Don Trill. There's a little of that red background there on the big card, too. And that's a short print, I think. Yep. But Sammy Sosa is not a short print, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe that's what it is. The short prints have that red. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that now. Did we figure out one of the little Easter eggs for Alan and Ginter X? 2023? Maybe you could just look at them right off the bat and just be like, oh, that's not a short print. Bob's your uncle. It's not. Berrios got a beautiful relic of him a couple months back the Twins a Rookie card of Ortiz So there you go Mangini and uh, uh, Pittsburgh people Luis Ortiz All right 37 minutes folks Sorry if I ramble on a lot, but hey, that's Kind of what my uh, channel's gonna be about 90% of it, and maybe I can whittle 10% of what I do down to less blabbering on. There we go, there's a winner. So we got the round of Cooney Jr. at least, so that's cool. National League MVP. There you go. Dude, I was just talking about. He's a big Jeter fan. So there you go. There's Derek Jeter. I don't care for him, but he does belong in the Hall of Fame. So I think he's a good player, and it's not the most disliked person I dislike, but um. By no means do I not think that he belongs in the Hall of Fame or anything like that. He's just not somebody I'm into collecting and probably ever will be. I mean, I have some of his stuff, and that's good enough for me. Wasserman, I have his autograph. So, we're starting to see repeats. Colos, got his um, relic card out of the... Um, Costco flagship set. And so we got two more of those boxes that we need to get around to. Rod Crew. So we just recently got him. All right. So no short prints yet, people. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. So and the last box was basically a dud. So let's hope this one doesn't turn into another dud. But it's not shaping up real good for us right now, folks. Alright, got three more packs. 
besides the one that I set aside, well, actually, I set aside two. So if I don't get the hit in these next three packs, then I'm going to stop this video and I'll do a second one. So I don't know if they're consistently putting the hit in the same spot every time, but we'll find out. Babe Ruth, Austin Meadows, Birdie. There you guys go, Clemente guys. All right, so then we got the Sheffield right here with the red. So not a short print. Yep, short print. So that must be the key to these Allen and Ginter X to let you know that you got a short print. It's got that burgundy red in the background there. Mr. Bueller, Ozzy Albies. Alright, I think I'm going to hold out on showing you these last three minis. I'll just set those all aside and we'll do those all in one hurrah. Oh man, people today, it was so boring today. Oh my god. I was watching some of you guys' YouTube videos. But I was so tired and half asleep. And I need to get that medicine that helps me focus. If you need a clue. But, yeah, it was a rough day. I got tired of watching myself, watching other people's videos. Thank God I watched kind of a documentary. And then America's Untold Stories, Freeform Friday was on. and Got to watch about half of that, so get to watch the rest of that this weekend. If you guys don't know about it, go check out especially guys in our age range which according to my statistics is 100 percent of the people watching my stuff is like 55 over um but that that channel's right up your alley i would if you're interested in that kind of kennedy on america's untold stories just go look it up you can kind of see the stuff that they do a lot of uh, kennedy conspiracy stuff and talking about different people and not not just that it's other things too pragmatic so yep a lot of repeats people so brown Xander Bogarts and this time Padres Alec Bohm so a little disappointing right now All right, last pack, people, then the minis, and then I'll do a second video, and I can guarantee you that that's where the hit will be, if it's not here. Mr. Lou Rock, Lou Brock, Castellanos, and Genie. I guess this is supposed to be pretty good now, Jordan Walker. He was, dude was pretty hyped on that card when he seen it. All right, here we go. So it's too bad that this wasn't a chrome because I got the Acuna. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the other thing. I got to find that Otani that I got in Albuquerque from chrome so, <coughs> so I can get my $20 in credit when I go to the card shop. So. Yeah, maybe I'll look for that after we're done doing some videos tonight. So there you go, Mr. Otani. So that's a good one. Jim Tomey. There's a short print. As you can see, the red. Stands true, folks. Snell, you're Cy Young. So at least we're getting the, the award winners this year. Mont Castle. If you want to see his... Um, box loader cabinet card Allen and Ginter autograph card go back I got a few videos featuring his autograph box loader card that I picked up probably about a month ago a month and a half ago as far as my videos as the crow flies so to speak 
All right, so first one we have is Machado. And if you want to go back around that same time, maybe it'll around that same time, you can see my uh, Manny Machado box loader autograph that I got, but on an N43. 49, 1987 Andre Dawson home run total. All right, Cabrera, there you go. Dude, there you go, a Yankee rookie. I kind of do wish uh, Alan Ginter X would at least do like the A&G backs as a uh, short print, like an extra little short print to make it just a little more special. That at least if they did, like okay, you can, like they did the first year I think, or the first few years, you can get all the minis for the base set all the full-size cards, the reds, the silvers, and if they had at least A and G back, that would be cool, a little bonus that would make it just, you know, a little more short print options, or maybe even like, even if they just did the A and G back and it was like a no number and it was like, added like a third short print option, I think that would be cool. Um, you know, a little more in line with, like, let's say Chrome, or, you know, because at least you're getting an autograph out of one of these boxes. But short prints, almost, yeah, probably not going to be anything except for the high number of ones. No mid level sh short prints. And then your autograph. So if they did, like, a mini ANG back, no number, and you got, like, one out of every. 200 packs or something I think would make this line up a little better with regular Allen and Ginter and Chrome and uh, hey so we got the Young card so there you go Bryce Young uh, so you know Otani we discovered the short prints have the red background Cabrera Cunha Jr. So we got your two MVPs, Ortiz, Sosa, short print Dontrell Willis, new Yankee Juan Soto, Bryce Harper Mini, Manoa Mini, and for my little PC, uh, Waters. So all right, folks, there you have it. Then we got these two top packs. I'm thinking this one has the autograph. If either of these two do, this pack feels a little tighter. So set that aside, stop this, and uh, we'll continue right away. Bye.